What's going on, everybody? Been a while. So, I am back. Playing Deliver Us the Moon and hopefully finishing it pretty soon. Um, it's a little laggy. I don't know what's going on here, but it's been, I think, like four months since I've played this last. <clears throat> and I uh, actually decided to hop back on and finish this. Well, one, just because I need to, and I've been slacking with the YouTube uploads. Um, but yeah, school's dying down. It's almost over for me. I'm a senior in high school, so over the summer I should be posting a lot more, but that was one of the issues I was having with not being able to post a lot. Um, and then also my mic was messed up, but I got that fixed like last month, I think, or two months ago, uh, but I just haven't posted, so I'm deciding to uh, record this because there's some big news. Uh, I mean, for this channel, I guess, but mainly just for this game, and that's that... Uh, a sequel called Deliver Us Mars was just announced uh, last week, I think. And so I saw that and I was like, oh, I have to finish this now because once that comes out, I'll have to I'll have to post that on the channel, too. But who knows when that'll come out? I don't I don't know if it's said in the trailer. Uh, but yeah, so here we are. And uh, if I remember correctly, we are playing as Rolf. That was the big twist from a couple episodes ago. And uh, he's looking for Sarah since he had to leave her. Uh, and Sarah had found Isaac Johansson, who was like the dad of the two girls. And one of them is the one that's like on the radio on Earth, pretty sure. And so they're trying to s stop the, uh, the machine from like producing the energy and like blowing up or something. I don't remember exactly, but it was something like that. <clears throat> I remember thinking like, oh, there's a lot of doors here. So that's why it ended. Oh, that's closed. All right, a little laggy. Um, are all these doors just decoration? Maybe this area was not as big as I thought it would be. But yeah, so hopefully my mic sounds good. Um, I was having issues with it. Uh, I don't know if you, any of you watching this watched my uh, Fortnite videos that I posted recently, where I was just kind of messing around with friends, but my mic sounded horrible in those, but I think I got it fixed. What's the point of coming in here? Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, I I don't care. Is there anything worth worthwhile in here? I don't think so. All right. Yeah, maybe this area was way smaller than I thought. Uh, for any day-to-day -day things, use 8662 to get into the storeroom. Oh, so this is when Sarah and Isaac were, like, staying together. So how long were they here is the question. Because, like, I thought that when Sarah got here, the machine, I forget what it's called, was about to, like, explode already. Or is that us? I don't, I don't remember. You can flush the toilet. Alright. <laughs> All right, here we go. Alright, what's this say? <clears throat> Especially in the men's room. A whiteboard is filled with a number of disquieting calculations. Isaac Johansson findings reveal a sobering conclusion. Given the reactor's production capacity and the limited amount of helium-3 on the moon, the MPT can't keep up with humanity's current energy demand. Humanity would have to change. Oh, okay. And so all the other people who worked here, if I remember correctly, went off into the stars to look for other habitable planets. So maybe Deliver Us Mars is about those people who uh, ended up going to Mars. I don't know. Anything I can cut up here? I don't, I don't know where to go. So I think the passcode that I just got, 8662, um, which, how do I look at that? There's journey maybe? No. I think it was 8662. Should be in there, but how do I get through this door is the question. Oh wait, 
Look at that. Good thing I was uh, reminded of being able to control him. Never mind. Oh, yep. There we go. Look at that. This is cool. All right. So we are in here now. Let's turn the power on or something. Unlock. There we go. Nice. So 8662, I believe it was. Yeah. Nice. Okay, before I go in there, we just look around. Scan this. Looks like I can scan that, but I guess not. Huh. On the treadmill. Alrighty. So we got the gym. Is this something I can look at? Yeah. Read. Oh. All right. Let's listen to this. Reactor capacity at three percent. We're running out of time. There has to be something we've overlooked. We've checked the entire system. If we don't find a way in soon, Earth's lost. Sarah. It's... it's a wasteland already. Look, I know. We messed up. For centuries. But the MPT can buy us the time we need to make it right again. I'd like to believe that. We all believe it, Isaac. That's why the WSA exists. Or whatever's left of it now. What do we tell the people back on Earth? It wasn't supposed to be like this. MacArthur ordered everybody to load the helium in monorails and evacuate. Said the reactor was dangerous. And people followed him? They followed orders, but some didn't trust him. They resisted. It... Uh, it escalated. There was fighting. He even crashed a monorail. What about the ASEs? MacArthur weaponized them. He could overload their safety limiters. But why? Why would he turn them on our own? He's a practical man. Never forget this about William MacArthur. He won't bat an eye so long as he thinks he acts for the greater good. So that's what we'll tell them back on Earth. Our colleagues gave their lives for the greater good. Whatever that is. Okay, so basically confirming what we already know, but I guess Sarah either didn't know or didn't want to know. Oh, back here. So I guess I need to push that somewhere. I'm very confused now. That's my... Find a way to exit the crew quarters. Oh, I'm gonna have to push this all the way up to here. Okay. Remember the first time I had to push something through one of these walls? It took me like five minutes to figure it out. I'm gonna have to remember how to unlock this door. It's not a lot. Yeah. All right. Yep. There we go. Look at that. Huge brain. But can I push this up the stairs? Oh wait, no. There's a lift. That's right. here. Can I not move it out of the way a little bit? There we go. Huh. <clears throat> I'm wondering how close I am to the end because I mean, seems like it's all being kind of set up to end here. And the good thing about playing all these uh, like indie story games on my channel is if I'm not playing it I really don't have to worry about seeing any spoilers because you don't really see anyone else playing them
Oh, shoot. All right, well, the game just crashed. Uh, first time I've ever had that happen. Um, so let me get it launched back up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm loading back in. I hope I didn't lose much progress. I don't really know. I don't remember how this game saves. Okay. Not that bad. Oh, huh. I wonder why it crashed. Never had this game crash before. I think I already said that, but I'm just really confused now. <laughs> I almost never have any games crash, especially like single player story games. Like I, I don't see that happen very often. It's interesting. I'm trying to think, what was I doing when it crashed? I think I just like turned a corner while carrying this thing. Can I fit through here? There we go. All right. Hopefully it doesn't crash again right here. I don't want to be in a spot where it just crashes endlessly. Come on, it was right here. All right, I think, I think we're good. Nice. Okay, it's very laggy. Cool. We are in the next area. Wonder what we'll find. We are in the reactor overlook, I guess, or on our way. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Big ouchy there. Oh, I'm assuming that came from the outside, so we're not going to have oxygen when we go in there, which will be just awesome. Can't go in here. Oop. Alrighty. Oh, here's another, uh, old vision thing. Hi. Oh, this is something completely different. They're monitoring us. MacArthur said reactor's failing, but all day it looks fine. Mistake or did he lie? He lied. People need to know. He's an intercom smile again. MacArthur will kill us. He won't go that far. Uh, I think he will go that far, considering there are body bags. Oh, I have to go over here, right? Yeah, there we go. All right. Reactor capacity at 1%. We have to get in now! I'm out of options! I've tried everything I know! Think! It's about to overload! Wait, didn't you say MacArthur overloaded safety limiters? Why are you talking about MacArthur? Alex, isolate encryption sequence 17B on the grid. Reactor capacity at 0.5%. <laughs> Got it! We're in! Now what? There's an emergency shutdown! Deactivating. It worked! The reactor's stabilizing! We're not done yet. The reactor hasn't been able to send the energy anywhere, so... overloading. Relief pressure immediately. The reserves are about to burst. We have to release the energy. How? A, a temporary transmission should send the... Ah! It's quiet. Finally. The reactor. Is it safe? It is. But the force has moved the MPT dish off its alignment. How bad is it? Can we realign it? The controls are up in the tower. But let's see if there's any helium left first. Database. All right. Isaac swiftly shuts down the reactor before it destroys Tombo. Things persist. Power is built up. Energy is released with such force that the dish is knocked off alignment. All right. I'm assuming now we have to go check on the MPT. What, right here? Yeah. Diagnosing. Reserves close to overload. The line. Well, I didn't, I couldn't read that. Okay. Going pretty fast. Open storage. Do. Insert helium three into the reactor. Check the storage area for helium three. All right. I think I'm missing anything over there. What's this? Just uh, the computer screen. Helium storage. There we go. 
Another body bag. Awesome. They've even got their, like, belongings just next to them. That's brutal. How many people were here and how many people did MacArthur kill? That's the question. Crazy. And how many people were still left alive when they all left into space? More lag spikes. It's awesome. I'm just glad I got that graphics card and was able to play this game through. Because I remember at the end of episode 3, when I had it on like low settings. Let's see if there's any anything I can do over here. Nope. When I had it on like low settings and it was still like 10 frames per second, that was awful. Where's this water coming from? Wait, is this... He well, helium 3 is probably a gas, but... Where would this water be coming from, though? Just pipes, I guess, that deliver water to, like, bathrooms and such. What was I able to inspect? There we go. Malfunction has occurred. <clears throat> Resistance may be met with force, yeah, obviously. Load all remaining canisters. Okay, so if that was true, then there wouldn't be any helium here. Only s essential supplies allowed on the arcs. Where the employees on the monorails. East unit escorts them to Copernicus. West unit splits up. Station person. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I remember the, uh... Anything yellow I see, I just want to cut it. All right. Oh, here we go. Uh, before, I, before I do this uh, message, I was going to say I remember those visions we saw of some of the people being told to evacuate and they were like fused and I don't remember those exactly um but if you're watching this in a row you'll remember what I'm talking about uh, when I was in those other stations and those two guys like telling everyone to evacuate what a waste of water people would kill for this on earth it's coolant water used for cooling the reactor here's some of the pipes must have burst you think MacArthur left any helium? Uh, he wouldn't be so careless. But we should check, just to be sure. Go ahead, I'll join you in just a moment. Wait, where are you going? I'll assess the damage further on, see if the cooling is still operational. I'll be right back. All right, I find that kind of suspicious he's leaving. See, that's the thing about Isaac, is like, I really don't know his true intentions. Like, I'm sure he's doing good, trying to do, do good. What? Where am I supposed to be? That's kind of spooky, but sad. I'm, I'm sure he's trying to do good, but I don't know. Because, like, there has been that kind of air of mystery around him. Oh, wait. You crouch in this game. Can you crouch? I guess not. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> Probably not. Um. Yeah, I need to get you in here somehow. Oh wait, look at that. I think I got it. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Alrighty. Anything to learn in here? Something's off. Under Moon Rock, we're putting in. Should be outputting a lot more helium. As if it's not registered. Numbers are off. Not jump to conclusions. So is Johansson doing this? See, that's the thing. I don't know. There's so much going on. I just want to know if they're still alive by the time I get to the end. That'd be crazy. Because you never actually, at least so far, you never see uh, any other real, like, humans. You know? It's all in, like, flashbacks. It'd be a pain in the ass to carry helium back to this, though. Unless there's another, uh, entrance or something. What the hell?
Look for helium three in the monorail bay. Okay. That's cool. Don't know what that is. So is this a canister of helium? It looks like it. Oh, it's empty. Okay. Unknown location. So that's what the uh, discrepancy was. Okay. Huh. That makes sense. Oh, they powered the uh, mission away. Monorail station. Alrighty. This is where we find the helium. Oh, I should not jump down there. There's a ladder. Wait, it looks like I will need to jump down there. Yeah. I need to go up here first. Grab something to power that door. No. Literally nothing in here. Oh, there. Controls are odd on this. They have to like press buttons to actually turn it. Alrighty, here we go. But insert this. I really like the puzzle aspect of this game. Oh, okay. I don't want to fall in there. What? Can I use you somehow? How in the hell? Well, I, th I think I'm gonna have to line that in up in the mid- no, 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 no. Ah, I tried to drop it. I need to put it back in. I think I'm gonna have to line the uh, little canister in the middle where I have to like parkour over it. Like this. Oh no, but then, how am I even? See if I can make this jump. Oh, okay, I should be able to do this. So just jump and then jump. Yeah. All right. What I'm supposed to do? I don't like that though. <laughs> one one misstep and I'm dead. Who knows how far back I'll be uh, after set. All right. Here we go. Moment of truth. Okay. Get one jump and the other. All right. Sick. Reboot all systems. Reboot successful, and then it turns off. Great. Ah, oh, it trolled me. I thought it wasn't going to be electri electrified anymore. Oh, it's like. So. I need to line this up somehow to jump all the way across to here. I think that's what I'll have to do, but like, how am I supposed to do that? It, I mean, it seemed like the water was periodically turning on and off. So maybe let me bring this over just a tad. If I can still make this, I don't think so. Oh, I can still make that. I make this. I think I can make that too. I mean, it doesn't matter if I can make that. I, I mean, it does. 
but oh yeah, I okay. I'll be able to do this. I think I'm actually doing this a different way than I'm supposed to, because I think those are periodically unelectrifying. I still made it. Doesn't matter. All right, sick. Oh, it looks like we do have oxygen. That's good. Drop down. Look for any secrets over here. Like there's much. It crashed again. What in the world is happening? I, uh, I don't know what's going on. I'm launching it again. I just realized on Steam when I went over to launch it again, the achievement that I got while I was listening to that audio log was collect all audio logs. So it looks like I am getting pretty close to the end. Um, there was a time. Got to skip through everything. All right. I don't get reset. Actually, I think I had just saved when I walked in there, but it, this has to be near the end. I just realized that I collected all the audio logs. So I don't know how much else there would be. I really hope this doesn't keep crashing. Since I'm so close to the end, especially. I don't know why it's never done this before. I don't know why it's just decided to do this right now. But I still am just searching for helium three. A lot of stuff in here, but looks like it's a whole lot of nothing. Ah, okay. Gotta push something down through that wall. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to push the monorail through that wall. Oh my god, that gave me a heart attack. My reflection? I thought that was someone like walking out of that door. Like walking down the stairs or something? That was scary. All right, another vision thing. Isaac, hey, they took it all. Storage is empty and what's going on? Uh, so stay there, stay there. I just need to- um... Is that helium? No, it's, it's, Sarah, uh, it's for Kathy. Okay, she, she's waiting, she's on the ark. Uh, and I just, I just need to, to get this to her. Isaac, what are you talking about? Uh, three, three. We made, we made, we made three arcs for outward. Yeah, they're gone. No, no, no. In the end, there was only enough fuel for two arcs. So, so MacArthur moved the uh, the sick, the the cryo patients, to to the last one. Uh, and Kathy, Kathy, she's still on the ark, stuck here on the moon. Wait. But with this, uh, I can, I can. I Isaac, can... I'm sorry, but Earth is our first priority. Earth's beyond saving, Sarah. With or without the MPT, our only hope, Kathy's only hope is out. Listen to me. We cannot give up on Earth. It's our home. Kathy's home. And think about Claire. She's made her decision, and I, I can't go back to Earth. But with Kathy and outward, there's a, there's a chance to start over, a new dawn. We do what we must to keep them safe, even if they don't understand. But we can be wrong, Isaac. You said it yourself. MacArthur's wrong. Sarah! Outward is wrong. Sarah! Everything about this is... <gasps> What's... <laughs> I... Uh, I... Uh, you, you must understand. I... Uh, I have to go. <laughs> X is that terminal. Send it off. Isaac! No, 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 no! Sarah! Sarah, don't do this! I can't let you take it. No! 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 Oh, 
see this blood uh, Okay, yeah. Uh, stay with me. Stay, stay with me. I'm sorry, Isaac. Okay, okay. Come, come, come I'm so here. sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't, don't worry. It's the only way I could help. Even if you'd hate me for it. <laughs> okay, easy now, Sarah. Listen to my voice. Don't, don't close your eyes. Hey, buddy. Sarah. Hey, hey, Sarah, no. Almost there. No, 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 no. Sarah. Sarah? It's okay. It's okay. Dude. I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Alex. No one needs to see this. I did. Holy shit. Collapses. So, it doesn't say dies. I mean, she, no way she's alive. There was blood. Where was that? That was over here? Yeah. Right here. Oh, shit. I don't like to look at that. Oh my, is that Sarah? There's the blood. Dude. Well, I found the helium. God. Bro. Isaac, I knew there was something up with him. I just knew it. I mean, it wasn't that hard to... F I'm not a genius or anything for knowing that. Like, it was pretty obvious, but... Oh my gosh. See, okay, the thing about that is, I don't know who to side with. Like, I feel like I should definitely side with Sarah, but like, he's not wrong when he's... That's a lot of nothing. Especially at this point. <laughs> There's nothing else that can matter more than what just happened. But like, he's not wrong when he says that, you know, Earth's beyond saving. So it's like... I get what Sarah was trying to do. She was trying to do the right thing, but I I don't know. Wait. Monorail was sent off with critical velocity. That was hitting parts of the area. Weeks later, the terminal was registered additional and unusual activity. Huh. So, I think I have to push the helium through that somehow I don't know okay so this will open that and the power was over on this side so is there a place I can send ace a ace ASE in there right here is that a no that's not a vent oh what's this Oh, wait. Does this thing open up high enough? For ASE to go in? It does. How do I... There we go. I don't know what the deal is with that thing opening and closing. It's like trolling me. It doesn't matter though. I can open this door right here. It's got to be so close to the end at this point. Should have just finished the game. <laughs> like having one episode just like four months later. Feel bad for not finishing it. I it's kinda sucks though, not a lot of people have been watching this series anyways. Um it doesn't really matter. Why is this like opening and closing all weird like that? Set this down. Bring you through here. Anything I can do in here with you? Oh, oh, uh, that's another power thing. Uh, well, let me let me reassess. So, or wait, was the power was that on the outside over here? I can't remember. 
where the, where, wait, where's the, uh, it's right there. Yeah, here we go. It was on the outside. Nice. I supposed to do here? How do I get this door open? Oh wait. So that would turn the power off for this area, right? For these for these guys. Wait a minute. That would turn the power off, but how do I This will kill me, right? Can't fit through there. There's a shot. <laughs> yeah, nope, 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 nope. Oh. Wait. Or just crawl. <laughs> Why is this thing doing that, too? It's just, like trolling me. I can access it from a certain distance, but. Nothing in there. I've got to get in here somehow. But I can't. Look for helium three. I found the helium three. Now it's just a, oh, it's a pressure plate. Oh, I just realized that's it's not trolling me. It's a pressure plate. So can I set this on the pressure plate? Most likely. Can. Okay, look at that. I'm an idiot. I don't know how I didn't see that. Oh, did that? Let's just turn off that door. Is that door open? I can't remember. Oh, okay. It wasn't. Oh, this thing's out of out of power. I've got to switch this one out. The pressure plate. Alright, this is like, uh, Indiana Jones. Alrighty. This one is not taking me as long as I feel like some of the other puzzles did. Okay, there was the one where I had to use the, the date of, like, when the moon hub was built as, like, a password. And I, I, I think I, like, misread it. It said year. Yeah, it said... Use the moon hub year as password or something. I thought it said gear, so I was like, what gear? <laughs> it took me like a half an hour to figure out. Here we go. So now. I just trap myself? There's no way. Dude. I need to put this here and where did I come from okay yeah then I go back and put yes okay put this in the power of the other thing and that that conveyor belt will pull the Helium towards me. I think. Doing this right. Could happen. Boom. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now I uh, transport helium three to the reactor. So now do I have to push this thing through? I 
Like, no space, though. <laughs> Imagine I can fit it in here. I don't think so. I won't be able to rotate it. Yeah, no. So... I'm gonna bust through the... Looks like I'm gonna have to jump up here. Something. Maybe? No. No, maybe not. Well... How do I get you... Through to this... Dude. What the hell? It crashed again. Um... I've never... What the heck? I mean, I'm going to cut this stuff out. I'm, I don't know if I'll even have me talking right here in the video, but why? <laughs> okay. Back and I got the uh, helium back. So now I need to get the helium through this train somehow. Okay, this staircase is definitely here for a reason. Hold on. I was... I must be blind. There gotta be something through here, right? I need to get it down through there. The train... Oh wait, there's something holding onto the train. Can I cut that? Maybe? Hold on. I just found it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, so I need the train to p pass through the... if I somehow found a way to like jump up here without the helium if there's some way to get up there if it just would like the cutscene would just teleport the helium to here actually there's a way to find that I swear to god if it crashes one more time I've got to be so close to the end and it just keeps crashing <laughs> just not letting me finish Oh, is this a reactor? Oh, no. Okay. Uh. That guy shouldn't be here. Uh. Oh, well, it's closed. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, that radiation was not, uh, that warning was online. Go run, 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 run. It's not like this. What is happening? I'm just in here while this thing is like... I died. What? What? What, what, what was I supposed to do? What the heck? I, I should have just died. Yeah, I am sprinting. I don't sprint very fast. Okay, so I'm safe in here. Run. I, I'm gonna die again. Like, I can't do anything. Yeah. So what do I... There's some sort of, like, radioactive gear I can put on? That's what I'm wondering. Energy production 
Initiated. Oh, the shade. Go, 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 go. We get in the shade. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, it does make sense. How is shade saving me from radiation? But... Oh. I don't like that. What just happened? What? Whoa. Oh my god. So I've got to time this perfectly. I feel like this isn't safe <laughs> for me to be here. Hey, run, 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 run. I made it. Right. I don't see how these little, like, columns and shade is saving me from these massive explosions of, like, radiation. But all right. This is sick though. I was not expecting something like this. So now we know if it freaking crashes again. At least that's safe. Oh, whew. NPT overload. System integrity at 80%. Every time it freezes like that, now I think it's just crashing. Take this? No, I don't. Okay. What the hell? <laughs> this this section is nuts. Bye. <laughs> he just gets swept away. This section is crazy. I love this. He's just getting yeeted. All right. And jump. Oh. Why am I, what? That didn't work. <laughs> jump. All right, I'm gonna just go here. I might have been able to make it to the middle, but I don't know. I love how like eerie it is because there's no sound. Since there's no oxygen in here, it's just like vibrations, which I don't know if even that would happen, but. All right, go. Yeah, I mean, I guess vibrations would happen because it's connected to what I'm standing on. Still have no oxygen. All right, oh, my prayers have been answered. I now have oxygen. That just means there's going to be even more sections without oxygen. Awesome. Oh, now I've got it. This is one of those, like, carnival things. Not carnivals, but... You see those, like, foam pits with the kids getting just demolished? My question is, who designed this? <laughs> Can I make that jump? What? No way I make this jump. There's no Oh, I got low gravity actually. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say. I love the platforming aspect. More oxygen refill, that's great. My worry with this is that this area is like really long. Oh, okay, I gotta save. I was just gonna say, in case it crashes again, gotta do the whole thing over. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. That is a joke.
<laughs> I'm such a troll. All right. Come on, we've got to be just so close to the finish. NPT overload. System integrity at 60%. What is happening? NPT overloaded. NPT overloaded. NPT overloaded. NPT overloaded. Uh oh. You good, Rolf? Oh my god. Not another timer. I can't sprint either. Awesome. I just don't need to be up here. <laughs> this is a waste of time. I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. What am I supposed to be doing? There we go. Move, please. Stop blacking out, Rolf. You got this. Oh, it's moving out of this circle. All right, there we go. Is that not what I'm supposed to be doing? Dude, what? Why are you... Oh, there we go. Oh, I get it. His blackouts are like making it leave the circle. No, please. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Rolf, you son of a gun. Rolf, you son of a gun. Ooh. I got it. Got it. At the end of the game. No way. This is so cool. It's showing like all the locations we've been to where we had to align everything. <laughs> I love this so much.
Hmm. Exactly where I started. That's so cool. to die i feel like rolf's gonna die i mean yeah there's like how else is he gonna get back home anyways he's gonna die like alongside sarah wait no way is he in here i just die no are they are they both just in here No way. Oh, dude, oh my god. That was so sad. I was so emotional. Like, oh my god. That was such a good game. That, that was amazing. I, I'm i really excited for the sequel. So I, it's been a long episode, but I want to briefly just end this off by discussing um, what I think is going on in the sequel. So... The trailer, if you haven't seen it already, which I don't, I doubt any of you have, considering it's been out for a week, it's got like 50k views on the Xbox YouTube channel. So, I mean, these games aren't, you know, famous by any means. Um, very small games. But in the trailer, uh, it shows like a vehicle kind of crash landed on Mars. Uh, and there are footsteps like leading out of it. And so then the camera pans up and there's a woman in a spacesuit. And this is on Mars. I don't know if I said that. 
walking along the surface of Mars. And she goes, she's walking along and she goes and like picks up some tools. And then there's an ASE unit in the sand, which like wakes up and flies over to her. And uh, so I think that unit would be the one that was with Rolf the whole game and uh, kind of sat sat down on top of the uh, like cryo sleep machine that Sarah was in. So I think you play as Sarah in the second game with that unit, which may be Alex, but I don't know. I don't I don't re really think it would be. I'm not sure. Um, and then it ends with Sarah and the ASE unit, or the woman in the ASE unit, looking out into the expanse of Mars. And there's like a another base, it looks like almost a city, like out in the distance of Mars and Sarah, or I mean, I keep saying that it's probably Sarah, but the woman and the ASE unit kind of exchange the glances. They like look at each other and the ASE unit just shakes its head, like saying no. And then the trailer ends. So I think what's going on there is that that, um, base that like city or whatever that's set up was set up by MacArthur and the rest of the uh, survivors that fled on the arcs and they for some reason stopped at Mars instead of going any farther and so the ASC unit is saying no because he knows or it knows that MacArthur is there and so it's warning her not to go there so that's my theory um, I could be way off but that's just kind of my theory but this, this was a great game. I really enjoyed it. I loved that it was... I mean, I'm a big sucker for story games. Um, but I loved the puzzle aspect of this one. Like, I really enjoyed it. And it looks like that's kind of the end of the credits, too, so... Oh, I'm glad I continued talking. Look at this. Isaac? Vestia 3 to ground control. We found them. Oh, it's Claire. What happened to Isaac? That's the question. That was awesome. Okay. Huh. So maybe you play as Claire? I feel like it would be more meaningful, though, if you play as Sarah in the next one. Huh. That was good, though. Um. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I really love the um, puzzle aspect of this one, because the last game I played through uh was narcosis which i i really liked that game too um i think the strength the strong point of that game is just the the massive twist which i mean this game now that i think about it had kind of the same twist as you figure out you're playing as someone that you didn't realize but in narcosis it was such a just like heart-wrenching ending where you just your heart just sinks because you figure out the entire time you're not playing as the guy that survived you're playing as one of the, the people who died so i don't know this is it was really good it it had a lot going for it with the puzzles and stuff and i heard that in the new one it will have a lot of i mean these games are puzzle games so it'll have a lot of puzzles but more like types of puzzles that weren't in this game i'm excited to see that and i'm hoping the next one over us mars isn't like it's not just like a two-part series like i hope that one ends on like a cliffhanger and there's another game after that that's about some other either planet or like moon because there are a lot of moons in our solar system that could be habitable like the it's theorized so that would be cool but yeah i uh i basically said everything that that i've had to say about this it was a great game i'm glad i finally finished it um I'm going to edit this down because I've been recording for an hour and 15 minutes. So I'm going to edit this down. It'll probably still end up being longer than all the other episodes, but I'm going to keep it as one episode because um, I thought it was 
uh, it would kind of be an abrupt cut if I ended it anywhere because it was all kind of like I was just finishing up right there pretty much the story but yeah I, I really enjoyed that so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in whatever next video or series I make so peace out Where?